So we're going to rely on the 45 degree line pretty heavily when we're developing this model of the macroeconomic equilibrium. As a quick review, remember the macroeconomic equilibrium is when we have real GDP equaling to that aggregate expenditure. The great thing about the 45 degree line is that this splits the graph in half and marks every single point where the values on your x and y axis are equal. What's the equation of this line? The equation of this line is y equals x, a slope of 1 and 0 for a y-intercept. So what happens if we put real GDP on the x-axis and aggregate expenditure on the y-axis. We know that they're equal in equilibrium, but that's just one single point. Real GDP does not always equal aggregate expenditure. We talked about that with the changes in inventories, but at a single point, it always will. So when we look at these, if we see anything in this area where it's above the 45 degree line, then we know that aggregate expenditure is greater than that real GDP. Over here, we see that the horizontal factor, which in our case is real GDP, is further along, so we know that real GDP is greater than aggregate expenditure. So any single point along this line is going to be where our y value equals our x value, so this is going to be aggregate expenditure equaling to real GDP, and that's where the equilibrium is going to be. Next, what we'll do is we'll graph the aggregate expenditure line to show that it will cross this at one single point.